Okay, welcome to Angles of a Rhombus Part 2. Part 2. Alright. Now, again, if you saw Angles of a Rectangle, Part 2, I drew a parallelogram. Although some of you might think it's a rhombus. That was not my intention. This is just a parallelogram with the letters in place so you know when I mention angles where they are. Alright. So given that this is a rhombus, rhombus A, B, C, D, and we're given measure of angle A, B, E equals 3x plus 5 and measure of angle B, A, E equals x plus 9 we want to find measure of angle E, B, C okay let's label the given information measure of angle A, B, E equals 3x plus 5 so 3x plus 5 is in here B, A, E is over here, x plus 9. All right, if you recall, angles of a rhomb, I'm sorry, the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular. So if you want to put a right angle of symbol in there, and that's fine. You have a right triangle, or if you remember from the last video, from the angles of a rhombus part one, those two are complementary. So here's my equation, x plus 9 plus 3x plus 5 equals 90. 4x plus 14 equals 90. 4x equals 76. x equals 19. All right, now, but we want to find measure of angle EBC. EBC is here. There's angle EBC. What's the relationship between this angle and this angle? Well, those two are the same. So if I want to find the measure of angle EBC, I substituted it into, what's that angle? ABE. ABE and EBC are the same. So, and what is it? 3 times 19 plus 5. What's 3 times 19? 57. Right? I hope so. <laughs> Equals 60. Okay, that's example one. Example two. Again, we're given a rhombus. We're given a measure angle ABE equals 6x plus 12 and measure of angle ADE equals 3x plus 36 we're asked to find the measure of angle DCE all right Let's fill in the information. Measure of angle ABE is 6x plus 12. Measure of angle ADE, where's ADE? It's over here, is 3x plus 36. Now, what's the relationship between those two angles? If you recall from angles of a rhombus, part one, those two are equal. Or, strictly going by the theorems, uh, rhombus has the properties of a parallelogram, so the opposite angles are congruent. That means angle ABC is congruent to angle ADC, and the diagonals of a rhombus bisect their respective angles, so these two are congruent. Okay, so, well, from all that, you're going to get 6x plus 12 equals 3x plus 36. I'm sorry if that sounded confusing. You could just mute that out or something. 
Yeah, you can see why my students don't understand. All right, anyways, so. <laughs> okay. Solve for x, those are equal. You got eight. Now we want to find measure of angle DCE. That's this angle here. Well, neither of those are directly related to that. But if we find angle ADE, right, all I'm doing is substituting. I get 60. If that's 60, then this angle is 60. Those two are equal. Remember the angles, I'm sorry, I keep saying the wrong word. The diagonals of a rhombus bisect their angles. So if that side is, if the top side here is 60, then this side is 60. And these two angles are complementary, means they add up to 90. So measure of angle DCE is 90 minus 60, which is 30. There we go. There is our answer. 30. I hope that helps, and I hope I didn't confuse too much. Good luck.